Uh, hello everyone and welcome to my playthrough of um, Drinks with Abby. Uh, so yeah, the um, yeah, it's it's, it's kind of weird playing this for like it's an out of nowhere uh, game to play. So yeah, um, here are the games that I'm gonna be playing. Uh, they're on my uh, follow follow list. So about this, the webcam crashed. I don't know why. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, these are the games that I'm going to be playing. Um, Drinks with Abby. Um, they, they're, they're, they're on my follow list. And I never had the chance to play them. So we're going to play them during the, you know, lockdown, you know, quarantine period. Um, so we're, we're, we're going to play these, these games. And we're going to have a lot of fun. So yeah, here we are with Drinks with Abby. Um, I muted the audio because uh, there's a, there's a music playing and it's probably copyrighted. Uh, see, <laughs> hear that shit? So we're just gonna stop there and um, not not do uh, or not record or something or not put it in the video. Goddamn! Um, I'm kind of feeling. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're gonna put, we're gonna input our first name. Yeah, I was, I, was, I, was, I was gonna name him what we what I chose a while ago, McDick ninety. <laughs> it's it's five Saturday night. You scan the dimly lit bar, hoping to find her before your nerves catch up with reality. Pink sweater, right side, easy enough. She sits cross-legged at, at the booth, typing on her phone. Abby. She stares at you. I oh, got the heck is the music? God damn. She stares at you blankly. Sorry, do I know you? Um, it's McDick. Uh, <laughs> it's McDick98. My bad. I thought you were on my date, but she's a lot prettier. Ooh, the dick move. Hilarious. So, so yeah, if you get if you still don't get the gist of it, um, this is pretty much a dating game. Like Super Seducer where you pick choices. And it leads to a certain outcome that we probably uh, do, don't know. I, I'm seeing a lot of reviews that that uh, I'm seeing a lot of thumbs down reviews that uh, that they couldn't get the date. But you know, us, the, the dating extraordinaire or or the dating master, ninety-eight. Later. You grab your jacket and head up. Why? What the way the hell am I heading out? Our dude McDick98 is gonna get that boom boom. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. She, uh, I, I think we're we're gonna try our options. Uh, pretty much hilarious. I thought it. I thought it was you. You hang your coat and sit opposite her. Nice to finally meet you in person. You too. What the hell? You too. I like your sweater. Thanks. It's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It looks good. Yeah. Looks good. Do you like that? It's off the shoulder. I'm getting this shoulder fetish vibe from you. Are you kidding me? You got that from me complimenting your sh your your. your um, I, I, I was gonna say her shoulder, but her her sweater. Well, I, oh, I absolutely have that. I knew it. Ha! Is that a real thing? I don't know. Huh? I'm sure it is. There's another um, waitress. Oh, she looks good too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know. Stay in the game. We're, 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 we're having a date with Abby here. Or drinks. Or just drinks with her. No, not a date. Just drinks. Not on the waitress, but on Ab but with Abby. A, a waitress appears out of no, out of thin air and hovers over Abby. Hey, what can I get for you guys? Uh, whiskey. Neat. Whiskey. Neat. <laughs> I thought she's just complimenting. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Uh, whiskey neat, uh, but uh, but I still want one of those little stirring straws. That's an intense, interesting order. Uh, okay, and you? Uh, what's PBR? I'm sorry, I'm not a uh, big uh, you know bar hopper or something like that. What the fuck is PBR? PBR. Special bull rider, you know, a drink. PBR drink. Blue ribbon. A beer? Yeah, that's probably gonna turn her off or something. 
So we're not gonna, we're not, we're not gonna pick that. We're not gonna, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna pick PBR. Cosmo, what the hell is a Cosmo? Ah, I should have searched that shit. Cosmo drink. Is it, is it a co Cosmopolitan cocktail made with vodka, triple sec, cranberry juice, fresh squeeze, sweetened, sweetened lime juice? Uh, do you want a cocktail or the same? I'm, I'm gonna get a Cosmo. Alright, Cosmo and uh, whiskey. Neat. Be right. Uh, and a whiskey neat. Be right back with those. Um, okay. Cosmo, huh? Are you about to tell me it's it, 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 it's a girly drink? Honestly, I think the idea of a girly and male drink is dumb. See? We picked the girly drink, but I'm way too sober to get into the topic right now. Ha. As long as you can keep up with me, I really don't give a shit what you're drinking. Fair enough. Yeah, what do we, yeah we wouldn't get the beer because it, it's not a goddamn house party or something. So, uh, that's out of the question. And we picked the Cosmopolitan. So, we met a lot of people online. Just, just a few. Same. I thought that I was done with dating apps, actually. But the thing in the Wanted app where you only talk to one person at a time seemed cool. Because you get a million messages otherwise. Yep. I think it's because of my, of what, up with both. Oh, birds are breast up, personality. Okay, so are, are, are we gonna go the simp route? Oh wait, the simps don't get girls. Oh! Are we gonna go the good guy route or just you know going with it? Uh, well, she, you know, I. At, at the first one, I think I'm I think I'm gonna fail anyway. At the first one, I'm gonna go with the logical, you know. We're we're gonna try if if she's gonna try to mind game us, I'm gonna try to mind game her. If you know what I'm saying, so we're gonna pick the first choice. You have a nice personality. All right, keep it in your pants. Hey, I was just playing along. Yeah, see that shit. I know, huh? Abby's eyes follow someone behind you. What do you think of our waitress? W w what about her? She's pretty cute, right? Uh, I feel like this is a trick question. Yeah, let's do that. No, I was just curious if we have the same taste in women. If you don't, is that a deal breaker? I wouldn't say that, but... Alright, yeah, she's cute. Okay, good. Deal intact. Wait. Haha. -ha. The waitress plays your drinks on the table. Here you go. I was drink doesn't have a straw. She's not gonna say anything. Would she want me to? I'll check on you in a bit. Uh... Uh, oh, did she? Yeah, give me my straw, bitch. Oh, what? What? What the hell? What the hell? A little rude about it, but at least you noticed. Thank you, that'll be all, miss. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you know her? Maybe. Yeah, that, yeah, that's my best, best friend, Rachel. You're lying. You're clowning, Abby. Did, did I leave that part out? I guess that's why you wanted to come here. Mm, she's my backup. A little too protective at times. I don't blame her. Abby sips her whiskey. She's drinking a whiskey neat like a juice box. I mean, do not fuck this up. Yeah, what the hell? He's like turning that into fucking uh, Long Island or something. <laughs> it's like it's like drinking, drinking Coke with... Well, uh, yeah, drinking coke. Was well, it supposed to snow tonight? Did you come here a lot? How did you meet? No, we're not gonna talk about her friend. No, no, no. Uh, was this? Did you come here a lot? Uh, did, 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 did you come here a lot? Yeah. Uh, fucking opening statement. This is kind of been a second time for a uh, second home for us a few years. Why? Sometimes it feels like a first home. That's cool. Yeah, it's a real chill place. Was it supposed to snow tonight? I'm not sure. I hope so. There's an awkward pause. But maybe we can skip the small talk. I have to do that all day at work. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's, it's fine. So, the proper ar arrangement is the... What do you call it? Uh, her fucking... I forgot. The, our first choice, the racial and the snow. Oh god, we go way back. Like, 8th grade back. Damn. I'll never forget how we met, though. Probably because we end up talking. I'm sorry for weirded out. I'm just gonna put some, you know, copyrighted free background music on on the, on the editing because I'm not sure if 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 the background music is not copyrighted. 
Yeah, hear that shit. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably copyrighted, so I'm, I'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit, you know, with the video being blocked worldwide. So we're just gonna stick with the copyrighted music, you know, YouTube library music shit. Because we had to talk about MQ for a couple of years. We had an English cast together and we had some kind of time essay or something. So she likes talking about her friend Rachel. My pencil broke, so I was freaking out. Rachel sat beside me and always had a stupid amount of pencils for some reason. But I didn't want to ask her because I thought she didn't like me. Somehow she realized what happened and handed me one without saying anything. But she though in the room said a word, but she was like, Abby, no talking during the essay. We still laugh about how much of a bitch that teacher, the teacher was. But yeah, Rachel's had my back ever since. That's awesome that you've stayed close. I don't have any friends from that far back. Well, I do have them, like fourth grade. So what about your family then? She shifts in her high school. She shifts. She she sh ah goddamn. She shifts her sh her. Sh <laughs> goddamn talk to. Me. No, that's probably just me. She shifts her seat to get more comfortable. Well, I have a mom and a dad. Uh, oh, interesting, huh? I have a sister too, like all of them. My sister is hilarious. They're funny, actually. Must be genetic, right? Obviously. I'm at this annoying age where I realize how much my parents, how much like my parents I am. It's so weird thinking back, they never forced me to do or be anything. But here I am, an engineer just like them. I is that a, is that an insult? Huh? I'm an engineer. Fuck you. Yeah, because I failed engineering and I had to, had to, had to shift courses. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I chose to do that. At least I think I did. Wait, so both your parents are engineers too? Two. What two? We work in different fields, but still. That's how they met. I wouldn't say my parents forced me to go a certain way, but they definitely pushed. So they encouraged. Is, is, is the right word. My dad is dead, and he always wanted to work with him. He spent years trying to sell me on it. He offered to pay for college too if I entered the dental program. I didn't have any better ideas, so that's what I did. So yeah, so that you wouldn't, you know, do part time jobs or some shit like that. I didn't realize what I did, uh, but something ate, ate away at me, like it wasn't what I was supposed to be doing, you know? What did you want to be doing? Yeah, I get that it was, still would have, would, would have been a nice fallback. Uh, are we gonna... Are we gonna ask or are, are we gonna play safe for now because uh, it, it, it's probably a sensitive subject, but we're gonna, we're gonna play safe. You, you think I should have stayed in school anyway? It, it, it's a lot of, it sounded like a good deal. It, I was afraid of getting stuck. Didn't want to get too comfortable in a place I wasn't even sure I wanted to be. But that's basically where I ended up anyway. I dropped out of the end of my sophomore year. Oh, what? Oh, and even though my dad wasn't happy, very happy about it, he told me I could come work with him anyway as an assistant. I guess that's a thing. It's a decent job, but I've been there almost three years now. And I'm still trying to figure out what's next for me. Same. Little, uh, what about you? Uh, are we gonna ask? Uh, they're like living. I'm really gonna ask the mom. It's alright, I've, I've never lived anywhere else though, I, so I have nothing to compare to. Same! Oh, Abby, we have a lot in common. I want to travel more to see what our plays are like. <laughs> Say that now, Abby. <laughs> you, 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 you can't even go out of your city because of the lockdowns. What about you? I live a few different places. No, McDick98, that's wrong. I've never left the country, but my experience traveling is a little. You, traveling a little in the US is has been kind of unexpected. Why? How so? Yeah. When I was younger, I wanted to get as far away as possible. My friends and I would always talk about moving across the country even with no money. Pretty pretty ambitious and risky plan, you know? At least have some backup money or contingency plans. Or ACA. <laughs> Big city seemed like magical places, but once I got there, I didn't, it didn't... It didn't really feel that... Yeah. I'm gonna guess from... That. Maybe I'm weird. There's no maybe about that. Thanks. I've never been I've never been together, but but visiting Japan is definitely on my bucket list. Same. See, we have a lot in common. I love the culture so much. What are you waiting for? Me too, we should go. That's kind of pushing it to the limit, you know. I'm, I'm always gonna, you know, uh, slowly. I know there's no middle ground, you know. Either you go slow or go fast. And it differs d depending on each person, so... I'm I'm gonna play the slow route the slow route for now. What what are you waiting for? Because uh, you know we don't want to, I don't know to die. What the fuck? 
an Alice with a bucket list. Haha, <laughs> yes. Just go. Yeah, just, just go to Japan. If you had a month to live, would you go? Of course, but... Ab also, her name is Abigail. Okay, not weird at all. That's weird. I know. Uh, uh, I'm not I'm really gonna talk about it. No, no one is when they meet the Lord. Shut up, huh? Abby looks out of the window to sip her drink. A light snow ha has started. Oh. The truth is, well, let's play some darts. Ah! Billiard or darts? <laughs> billiard or darts? Billiard or darts? Ah. I, I, I think she's, she's a billiard kind of person. She's a bull. Sounds good. I'll go. I'll go set everything up. I'll and kick out my regulars, any, any regulars if I need to. Can you get us a couple more drinks? Sure. You push the bar and find Rachel finishing someone's order. She looks to you next. Hit me again. You turn to a man sitting next to you, slouch over his empty glass. Tom, right? I'll be with you in a sec. Honey, I'm next in line. Just pour me another drink, real quick. Try to say, please cut me off. I'm. If, sorry, did you say please cut me off if I keep talking? He hangs his head in defeat. Oh, great uh, comeback, Rachel. God damn. God damn. We're gonna roll with the shitty tips tonight. Anyway, Rachel's on the way for your order. Uh, I know Risky and Cosmo, so I'm just gonna be straight with you. This ain't gonna happen. You and Abby, I mean. Okay, uh, you, you Aubrey Plaza looking bitch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I called her a bitch. No, she's not a bitch. She's not a fucking bitch. We're too early to judge, okay? But she looks, she, but she does look like Opera Plaza, if you're asking me. I had a feeling. There's, there's, there's other fish, man. You, you, you pick at the game, you're talking, talking to a guy. Yeah, so, so that's Kyle. So you know what's best for Abby, you piece of shit? You <laughs> know, no, no, that, so that's Kyle. I think she's, she really likes him. Then why is she asking me out? Huh? What should I do? Abby's nicer than I am and she'll finish the date to be polite. But do you really want things to be like that? I'll leave before things get awkward. Yeah, I guess there's no point in staying. Smart man, and your drink's on me. You grab your jacket and head up. Why, what the way the hell am I heading out? You walk to your car riddled with thoughts about what you might, might do differently. If you had a second chance, Okay, so these were the second. Oh no, okay, it didn't. Okay, so these were the second playthrough comes out. Okay. Yeah, it's rewind time. Motherfucker. So we are at the second route. Um, yeah. Uh, I yes, I'm just doing it fast forward because. Uh, wait, I'm not. I'm not gonna fast forward the choice that I haven't seen yet. It's pretty cute, right? Yeah, I think you're cute. Oh, thank God, you're relieved, haha. Huh? Yeah, I mean, she's obviously cute. Wasn't sure if I had the balls to be straight about it, though. Oh, so in the previous run, I don't have the balls to do it. Place your drink on the table. Here you go. Abby's drink doesn't have the straw. She's not gonna say anything. Would you want me to? So, uh... Are we gonna do, um... Differently? Okay, so I'm gonna let her have my straw. Here, you're gonna have my straw. Abby plucks it from your glass. Thanks. Very you serving you, new boy. Not bad. Maybe there's hope for you after all. So, so in the previous run, she didn't like that we asked her for the straw. So, uh, us giving her straw is, is a good thing. Okay. I think they'll be all miss. What the hell? <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, uh, it's it's the coronavirus. Do you know her? Maybe. Yeah, that's my best uh, Rachel, Yeah, skip skip the shit. You passed her test though. Very so good. The straw. Haha. <laughs> yeah. So that's her test. The straw. I was just drinking whiskey neat like a juice box. So I have a question. Why did you want to meet me? You're hot. Oh, my reason sounds stupid. Ah, uh, you're. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we didn't get this choice. Uh, a, a while. So that's why she didn't like me on the first choice because we, oh, because of the damn straw. My my reason sounds stupid. She continues to wait. I guess I'm not getting out of this one. We we, we didn't text for very long, so I didn't know much about you yet. But we were talking about favorites, you made some of my favorite shows. I think that some mistakes in TV shows can say a lot. Like what? Their sense of humor like what their sense of humor is, but other things too. Her eyes are locked on you. Someone who likes a lot of the same shows me is probably going to get me, you know. 
And I don't think many types of I get this many type of shared interests work like that. You're right, that is stupid. Okay, ha. Huh. So why do you want to meet me? You seem honest. That's a big deal to me. Well, that, that makes it sound like I have to trust Aegis, but that's not what I meant. I just got the feeling that you were... You weren't just saying what you thought I wanted to hear. So that, that that's what you did last time. <laughs> that's why I did, we did get the date. From what I can tell, you're not afraid to speak your mind either. True, huh? Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, are, 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 are we supposed to do it in an order? I'm, I'm not gonna indulge in small talk. Because she didn't like that, so uh, I'm gonna ask, do, do, do you come here a lot? I'm mean, gonna skip that because we played it. We play games, listen to good music. Speaking of, I can see your, I can see you mouthing their words to this song. I don't even know this damn song. What the hell is this song? I'm sorry. Yeah, I like the whole album actually. Me too. You'll have to come back when they have a band playing upstairs. I'm down. Yeah, but yeah, but the song is is, is good. Yeah. And how did you meet Rachel? Oh god, we go way back. I was gonna skip this. Okay, so um, here's the thing. Uh, are, are, are we gonna do the same one or? Yeah, well, I'm gonna bo I'm I'm gonna be doing it differently because we picked this last time. I'm I'm gonna be doing this. I had a, I had no idea at first, but something happened a couple years in that got me thinking. I guess Rachel and I had this long talk about something she was going through. So we can only skip if we had seen the the choice or the dialogue. We talk all night about it, and then the next day she said something very sincere to me. Keep in mind this is rare for her, huh? What what did she, did she say? She said thank you that I helped her see things from a different perspective. So you helped her on the way. She said I was a good listener. I know she's my best friend, but she doesn't she didn't have to say that. So then I started to think maybe I could help other people too. Like as a therapist? Something like that, yeah. I haven't been really pursued that yet though. But yeah, I dropped out at the end of my sophomore year. Skipping that, okay. Uh, the, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say the same thing because I, I'm... I don't think she... It's it's too forward, you know. She's like living around here. I almost moved out from my last relationship. Oh, now she's open to us. I, and I'm so glad I didn't. Now that I'm over it, I'd probably feel feel pretty dumb if I had. I'm guessing it didn't end well. This, the, it's the old story. Naive girl gets baited by a great guy. Girl gets hooked. Seconds later, he turns to a controlling asshole. Why you guys? Why you guys do that? It's a, is that a rhetorical question? Now I want to know what you think. Well, I think if everyone's looking for a specific kind of connection with someone, but until you find whatever that is for you, people are like band aids. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It just sucks when people aren't on the same page. Which is basically always. Why can't people just be honest about their feelings? Yeah, true. Preferably with the person they're, they're with and themselves. There's no excuse for manipulating someone or pretending to be someone you're for someone you're not. But unfortunately, uh, but unfortunately, honest people tend to be alone. Oh god, I kicked my lights. Especially if you know what you want. That's a really, that's really, that's a really sad thought. Abby, I just want you to know, I have not fallen in love with you yet. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta put that in there, you know. If you've already fallen in love with me, that's okay. You're dumb. <laughs> so what happened with your last relationship? Oh, okay. So she's asking us. Okay. Uh. Uh. What are we gonna say? What are we gonna say? Uh, most of it. She was crazy. Are, are, are we gonna go that route? I was gonna say you're pretty, you're pretty cool, actually. With the last one, it just it just was it, it it just wasn't what I was looking for. I told her that, and she went on her way. No horror stories, sorry. It was sure that a good thing. Yeah. Abby looks out of the window, continuing to sip her drink. A light snow has started. So, uh, so are you the type that gets the creature? So she's getting into that snappy. Uh, so she she. she so instead of us, us asking her things, but she's but now she's the one asking us things. So uh, are we into Christmas season? Yes, I like uh, yeah I like Christmas personally. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask definitely. I assume you like Christmas too, or you wouldn't have asked. Yes, yes, I do. Haha. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, I, really, I really like Christmas because first of all, it's a um, you know there's no classes. <laughs> 
And I think that's about no, yeah. I think it's just um, you know when people come together that that's a good thing. Or families, I think families, friends, or something like that. But it's not my fault. My family is the most hallmark family you've ever seen. Hallmark family? What do you mean? The brothers are embarrassing. They have they have to participate in every possible Christmas tradition. Tradition. Okay, yeah, that I do, I, I do, I I kind of see that uh, as kind of annoying, but. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's kind of uh, okay. Yeah, we haven't even exchanged gifts in years. No gifts. So back when you weren't crazy people, what were the best gift you've ever got? Gift cards. That's pretty fucking boring. So yeah, Lego play though. Yeah, blah blah blah. I always love building things. Yeah, that's cute. But what about you? Um, I said the most memorable one wasn't for Christmas. It's is that cheating? I, I'll allow it this one time. Uh, I'm scratching my nuts. Uh, too much info, probably. So my dad and I used to play checkers since I was like five years old. Yeah, I like checkers. You know, uh, we we we, we play that. Uh, I think the 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 checkers thing uh, on um, they call it uh, chess chess board. You know. Yeah, it's called Dama here. Dama. Obviously, he wasn't very good at the edge, but he'd go easy on me. As we played, he would kind of set up the board. So eventually, I'd have a turn. I'd have a turn where I could jump piece. Yeah, jump pieces all the way into his side, and I'd get to stack two pieces for a king, which would make me so happy. But I was too little to understand how it happened. He'd always stay well. He'd always say, "Well, I'd rather have you be on my side." Anyway, that's kind of. It's kind of. It's kind of. Cringe. <laughs> My favorite gift was the one he gave me when I left for college. What is it? It was a two black checkers pieces good to go and made into a necklace. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Why aren't you wearing it, Abby? Huh? Probably not memorable enough. I don't wear it much though. Okay, okay, okay. So she answered my 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 retort. Okay, remember though, uh, too afraid of losing it. Her eyes glisten as she, as she recalls the memory. So I shouldn't have brought that up. No, 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 you can talk about whatever you want. But we're gonna stop talking about sad shit now and go play a game. Okay, so here's the thing. Are we gonna play pool or darts? Um, let, yeah, let, let's pick darts uh, since we played pool darts. Sounds good. I'll set everything up. Kick out we're going for so so in 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 our previous run she didn't actually like pool. I think. Can you get us a couple more drinks? Sure. Okay. Let's, uh, you you push your bar and find Rachel finishing someone's order. She looks to you next. And yes, I'm I'm playing this with the music uh, or with the headphones and music on because I saw from the the endings that you needed it to be on <laughs> for you to have a good ending, which is pretty fucking dumb for asking me, but. Yeah, we're just gonna follow it, but I'm still gonna mute it on the on the editing, so um, you're you're probably gonna hear some U some YouTube generic shit. Hit me again. You turn to a man sitting next to you, slash over his empty glass. I'm just gonna skip that. Two more whiskeys? Yes, please. She prepares the best drinks, but takes her time. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're actually killing it. Thank you, Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> how how can you tell? Cause I've been creeping on your ass. Whoa, that's creepy. And and I know my girl, right? Huh? First date, huh? Mm, yeah. Heh. <laughs> Always starts great, doesn't it? Then you're sitting where I am. Shut up, Tom. Freaking bitter man. Jesus Christ. She 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 sets the drinks on the bar top. Thanks. I'm Mc. <laughs> I'm McDick98 V2, by the way. I'm Rachel. You pick up the games area where Abby's talking to a guy. Trust me, she's not into him. So she changes thing, huh? What what happened to Alex? His, his uh, I think Alex is his name. What happened to Alex, huh? Rachel. They barely know each other, yeah. Yo, she, she, she lied to me a while ago. Lying cunt. Tom follows her gaze. I don't know, maybe I should go ahead and save your seat. Tom, shut the fuck up. I'm getting your drink. Play nice, okay? Of course. 
Yeah, this guy looks like a goober. Just, just, just kick him out. And he's, and he's drinking a beer. In a bar, you know, you shouldn't... I'm, I'm, that's, uh, that's your thing? If the, drinking beer is your thing, um, it's your choice, okay. But I'm judging this man, because I, I can see him, but I can't see you, so I'm not gonna judge you. But I'm judging this, this man. He looks like a goober. I'm not saying he looks like a goober, but this man does. You hand Abby her drink. Thanks. Uh, sorry, I can't realize you're with someone. Right. Yeah, hey, why are you smiling with that, Kyle? Yeah, his name's Kyle. I forgot. I, I thought I thought it's Alex. I'm Kyle. Shut the fuck up, Kyle. Just 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 just, just leave, Kyle. Yeah, I like the music. I'm kind of going to look weird because you probably can't hear this. <coughs> you shake hand. McDick 98 V2, by the way. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna lay it out for him, you know, to to stop him. It's our first date, cunt. Oh, very cool. What do you do for a living, McDick? What are you, are you gonna? Are you the are, are you the cop? Or are you gonna ask what I'm what I do for a living? I'm an engineer. I have heard engineers do okay. Yeah. Where what are you, Kyle? A no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna say any any profession because I, I'm I might offend someone. So I'm I'm just gonna lay it out right now. If, if, if you love what you're doing, though, the deals go no matter as much, right? I'm in real estate myself. Shut the fuck up. I, I didn't ask. Could you be right? I'm gonna no free time. Uh, uh, are we gonna be nice to him? Yeah. Let's just play nice and then kick him the fuck out. Yeah, thanks. One thing that they can say about being so busy, though, is making time for relationships. Are you seeing anyone? Nah, I'm single right now. I'm making time for the right person, but that can be hard to find. You guys at Abby. Have you tried any dating apps? We actually met on Wanted. They're great for busy people like you. Cunt. You better leave Abby alone, bitch. Just, 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 just shush. Get the fuck out. Shush. Kyle. Piece of shit. Can't read the situation. Yeah, he looks like one. I'm sorry if I'm sorry if if, if Kyle is based on your face, but he's being a douche. Um, I don't really use any dating app. I really, really, I could have started to saw you on Twitter a while back. You lying cunt. Maybe I need to be. I'm sure the right girl will come along soon. Definitely. Kyle takes a sip of beer and looks back at his friends. Well, we're, we're, well, we were about to play a game of darts. Talk to you later. No, she's not gonna talk to you, Kyle. Don't expect. That wasn't awkward at all. She got like some brass and uh, hands over once you. Have and I remember. Don't we get three darts? We usually don't play any dart games here. Most people don't even know how. Yeah, we're a great bar. Don't people don't know how? Well, I don't know how to play darts either. We just take us from both sides mainly, mainly. So who goes first? Well, I don't know the scoring system or some shit like that. Right, right. Obviously, you do. She plants her feet, reverses the throw. Her stance seems proper, like an experienced player. As she brings to the dart next to her island, she stops and relaxes. You don't have to bor worry about Kyle, by the way. He obviously likes me, but I'm not interested. R Rachel told me, kind of told me that already when I was over here, over there. I mean, I meant. Oh, well, I just didn't want you to get the wrong idea. She takes her shot, hitting about an inch from the sensor. That was close, Abby. You're really good. Hate you. Haha. <laughs> <coughs> uh -huh. you, you step up for a turn. You'd be really surprised if I hit a bullseye, wouldn't you? I'd be surprised if I hit that dartboard. Yeah, pretty, pretty cocky there. Yeah. I'm gonna expect an apology after this. Well, if you're so confident, why don't we make it interesting? Oh, so we got hench bets, huh? So what do you get? She, 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 she scuffs. Name it. Twenty dollars or yeah, kiss. What do you got? What do got? Go, go, go with the punch, you know. Hmm. Okay. Really? Really? But if you miss the both eye, the date's over. Um, what? You name my stakes, and I name and I names you, and I name yours. All right, get ready to pay you up. You line up your shot. No pressure. Throw harder than normal. The dart takes off. It arcs slightly and lands right on the bullseye. Maybe we 
got the bullseye. Aha! Are you kidding me? You got the smooch, you know? You're the luckiest out of a vision I've ever seen. Uh -huh, yeah, boy. Uh, are, 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 are we gonna compliment her? What's more skilled than you are? <laughs> the sword, the sword, the, I mean, wait, the, the, what, what do you call it? There, there's a sword loser and a blank winner. I forgot the best of the, the blank winner. Really am, please like that's why uh, I, did, I did get the date with you. Darn you. I was looking forward to holding a grudge, but then you had to go and be cute. The, also, the, also, that's a cute move. Abby drifts to the board. She plucks, she plucks the lucky dart and quietly inspects it. Is she waiting for me? You push slowly. When she see, it, when she says it, she shoves the dart in her pocket. She turns to me to ask how close you are. Her voice gets softer. Hi. Uh, it's a girl. She keeps her eyes open until the last second. Your lips barely touch the first. Every time, yeah, this is kind of weird. It's like watching two people, <laughs> two people. <laughs> Two people date, but you know it, it's us right now. So you're trying to notice every little bit of her leaning. So she pulls you closer by the front of your shirt. After a moment, she steps back. She checks on the potential witnesses, mildly embarrassed, as though she forgot where she was. Well, a deal's a deal, right? Just fulfilling the terms of the bet. Exactly. You can even take it towards the dartboard and drink and join each other's company. Company. The car goes to the tank, thins out. You feel the night approaching and ends against your will. I still can't believe how lucky you were. Come on, give me some credit. I'll do no such thing. It's exciting that someone I know might actually win the lottery or something. What do you think if we won though? So it's just asking us what we'd do if we win the lottery. Uh, so uh, is, is it gonna be charitable? Buy, uh, buy you whatever you wanted. That, that's pretty splurge or some shit. Probably, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna be witty. <laughs> Look at the real invented Kyle. Haha, <laughs> your new bestie. He'd love that. Abby steps up and hits the bull's eye for the ten. Tenth or fifteenth time. Lost count at this point. Why are you so good at this? She shrugs. Just play a lot. Any other hidden sounds I should know about? Wouldn't you like to know? Are you are you, are you waiting on me to answer? Yes, absolutely. I'd like to know, huh? Well, maybe I'll show you. We're in, boys, we're in! You hear people shouting at the bar. <laughs> I said get the fuck out. Alright, alright, I'm leaving. Oh, wait, so Aubrey Plaza's my mad. You check on Rachel's thumb, stumbles over the exit with keys in hand. What happened? This drunk asshole's been running his mouth all night, so I cut him off. I can handle a lot, but this guy. He was going out of his way to piss everyone off. So, are we gonna. We're gonna agree or stop him from driving. Driving. Are, are we gonna save Tom? Or. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad if he got into an accident. You know, I might kill someone. You go after Tom. What are you doing? Tom. You again. I know you don't know me, but could you could I convince you to not drive right now? Hey, go back to your girlfriend, kid. So we're gonna get her an Uber. Or him. I'm sorry. I, 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 I said her. So we're gonna get him an Uber for not to take an old man keys from him. L let me call you an Uber. He ignores you. You rejoin the girls at the bar. Hey, what was what, what is that about? I, I wanted to get him a ride home. But he wasn't having it. I feel bad. I shouldn't have kicked him out. He left me a hundred dollar tip, though. By the way, really? Uh, now I feel like the asshole. The rumors become noticeably quieter. You guys gotta keep playing darts. Actually, I need to take Lulu. Oh, who the fuck is Lulu? She turns to you, my husky. Oh, her sorry dog. Okay. I love that dog so much. My other beautiful moody friend. Well, I hope I can see you again soon. Well, the thing is, Lulu wants to meet you. We're really in, boys. We're in. She, she told me that. Yeah, she just texted me. So she opened up her phone. She said, "Bring boy, throw toy." <laughs> I love to meet Lulu. Good. Where'd you Where'd you park? We got. Oh, we got. We got, we got the achievement. Lucky dog. Okay. 
If we hear the voice. So uh, yeah, so we're back here. So we're just gonna mute that. And so yeah, we did it. We did. It. We got. We got. We got the good uh, ending. I think. I think that's a good ending. There's. There's a lot of endings. And and again, if you want to check out the other endings, go, go play the game. It's free on Steam. So if you want to, just check it out. Again, if you want to check the game out, you know, if, if, if you want to go on a date with Abby, you know, check out other endings or other options. Feel free to do so. It's free, and it, and 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 it doesn't require a lot of uh, memory or or you know co computer performance or something like that. And 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 it's only 150 MB, so you can play it, you know, and just uninstall it later on. The the the, the doesn't change much. I, I think I got the best ending from this from this playthrough. So yeah, um, that does it for this video. That does it for Drinks with Abby. I'm gonna play other games uh, from my follow list on Steam. So stay tuned for those right after this one. So yeah, that's the first video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Yeah, well, uh, here here are my last thoughts. I think the other choices are pretty unforgiving if you're asking me. Um, but if you you know you can just check out some internet guides or something if you want to but you know if you want to play the f if you want to play it you know blind just just play it blind that's all i'm saying so yeah this is the first video i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching <laughs>